The sweet tango apple has proven its success over many seasons. It consistently ranks as the top club apple and a top 10 apple variety when it's in the market. Let's talk about that, John. I think that's a really powerful accolade here for the sweet tango apple. I mean, a, a top club apple and a top 10 apple variety, but here's the kicker. Notice that little, that little clause at the end of the headline, when it's in the market. So let's talk about what that means and why market access is so important. One of the things that the co-op is trying to address is, you know, the access, you know, in different markets, uh, you know, some, you know, the big cities naturally get the uh, bulk of where this apple is going to be found or where it's going to be distributed uh, as we ramp up production. I think that's probably one, one of our limiting factors is, is that, you know, it's taken us, it's taken a while. I mean, uh, once again, you know, we are gambling, like you said before, we are gambling a little bit here and we are going to proceed cautiously. Uh, I think everybody was willing to uh a bet on the initial planting and now it's trying to increase the plantings and make the apple more available so that is on on the agenda and i think that there are uh the growers that i know are planting more so i think once again it's going to take us a couple of years where we fulfill the uh, need to get this apple out a little bit more the production is going to be ramping up and so I think uh, people may have to be patient a little bit to find it. And hopefully that will uh, alleviate some of the problem. Although on the other hand, you know, having it, uh, people, you know, search for it makes it a little bit more seductive, you know, makes it a little bit more uh, wanting. So although I'd rather see everybody be able to get at it, it's still, uh, you know, there is still uh, time for us to uh, get to that problem and have it uh, corrected. I need a better analogy for this, John, but the best way that I describe that seductive nature of a limited time offering, you know what food item I use? I always tell people, think of like McDonald's success with the McRib. And I'm like embarrassed to say that on the podcast, but because it's so off brand <laughs> for us, but really that is such a great example that I think everyone can relate to um, yep. is that seasonal offering at McDonald's. So let's talk about another headline here. I think you're going to love this one. Um, and I definitely want to hear your response on it. In a year when consumers might be concerned about inflation, Sweet Tangle will prove its worth to consumers and retailers alike. Absolutely. Uh, once again, the uh, in the, the quick analogy I can use for that is that when we first started to sell Sweet Tangle, you know, being a direct marketer, we are standing right right behind the shelves, right when someone wants to buy a, a half peck of Sweet Tangle. And believe me, it's, you know, they're not inexpensive apples. They're not inexpensive to raise. It takes a lot of time and effort for us to bring a, an apple from the tree, you know, down into the building and have it processed and put into a bag. So here, here's a young couple that are in front of this, the Sweet Tangle shelf at our operation. And the gentleman goes, wow, they're a little expensive. You know, they're, you know, whatever. I can't remember what the price was. They're $16 for a half peck of apples, which is probably approximately six six 6.2 pounds. And he looks at it, the, the, the woman that he's with, maybe it was his wife. And she says, it's the best money we're going to spend. Let's buy them. And so that, that's it right there. I mean, you could you sample it, you eat it, and it's like, I love it. You know, I don't care what it's going to cost. Let's buy 